This just might be an empty day Let's talk about it on Sunday, Saturday And old places and every day Thank goodness it's Saturday Alright, what's up everyone? You're watching The End The people, places, and things that affect your world and our society And this is Soft News Saturday I'm here with my cousin Matthew What's up? What's up? Yeah Boom Our place is Moscow and um, in Moscow, the Russian soccer fans have been told that they should drink whiskey on their trip to Wales for next month's World Cup qualifier. Uh huh. And why should they drink whiskey? To ward off the swan flu. That? And doctors told them that. That's not a bad idea. That, I mean, to all to all the soccer fans who are going to be traveling. I really hope they miss no goals. Whiskey to the water of the swine flu. So, so the cure for the swine flu is alcohol. Don't, it's alcohol. It's alcohol. I mean, you might need to go get that glass. Get drunk. I mean, what? what it? This is a family show. It's a family this show. This is a family show. Okay. <laughs> we, we, we ain't got no glasses around here. No this is a family show. But <laughs> this is a family show, people. There is no drinking on the end, okay? But and we're not endorsing drinking. Don't no drinking under the age of twenty one. Um, yeah. 21. It, now, if you're over twenty one, we um drink responsibly. Yeah. No driving. No driving while you're drinking, but just drink responsibly. Okay. And so drinking whiskey and drinking you whiskey. just avoid the swine flu. Yeah. So there you go. You heard it here, right here on the end, that if you drink whiskey, you will not get the swine. You will not get the swine flu. Was there a medical reason behind all that? Did they even say? They didn't say. See? Bottoms up. There you go. There you go. Alright, and moving to our thing. Moving to the thing. Thanks. New York. Let's go. So, our, my final thing is college. College is high as hell. We just talked about that last night. Oh, it, it costs so much to go to college. My college I go to is 26000 Another college I know is about 22000 There's colleges out there with thirty six. Yeah. It, it's a lot. It, it's a lot. So, this woman <laughs> is New York first, right? It. This New York City woman says she can't find out. She went to college, you know, was getting her degree, mm -hmm. trying to get her education. Was like, I got a degree, I'm gonna get me a job. Right. And you said, I can't find a job. Nope. So what she did? So she sued the school. <laughs> she spent seventy thousand dollars. She sued the school in in the Bronx the Supreme Court. At the Supreme Court in the Bronx. I didn't even know the Bronx had a Supreme Court. Did she, did she win? She, it doesn't say. It says that Thompson has been unable to fi find gainful employment since she has received her information technology degree in April. There you go. So you cannot find attention to all college 2009 graduates if you couldn't find a job last year when you graduated from college. Right. Apparently the thing you need to do is just do your school for your school. Miss mm. Thompson, let me know how that goes. Trina. Yeah. She's a bad Trina. There you go. Gonna we ain't gonna touch that one. Trina is a bad. She's bad. She's bad. She's bad. I I I, I gotta give it to her. Go. She said, "Bump you. I can't find no job. So you know what I'm gonna do? Seventy thousand dollars. Cause you gonna pay for my year. You gonna pay for it. There you go. I want my money back. Bump that. I want my money. Let me not find a job. I'm coming. I'm gonna be like, you know what? I want money back. It's over. It's over. It's over. This tuition. Mine. Done. Speaking of that, I'm done. And so moving to our last thing. Cool. Okay. Yeah. Well, this is really, it's, it's almost a serious matter, and mm -hmm. people used to honestly really think about this thing. Um, mine is a fact, and it is, on average, 100 people die a year by choking on ballpoint pens. Not peanuts, sorry, Bush. Um, ballpoint pens. And... How do you choke on a ballpoint pen? Ah. Don't, don't, don't put that in. Don't put that in your mouth. But ah. don't put that in. Your mouth. Watch what you put in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Watch everything. Well, if I look at it, do, does that count? That's nasty. <laughs> <laughs> People keep things out of your mouth. But how do you choke on a ballpoint pen? Why would you... You know, some people chew on them. I mean, yeah, I think, you know, you chew like this, but... Maybe it, like, slipped in. Just... Nah, it don't slip in. I don't understand. I, it slipped. That's a, that's a, that's 
the excuse you hear on, you know, hey, blog, Mari. You can blog, <laughs> you can explain to us how you think. There you go. People choked on ballpoint pens and just give us your creative thoughts. Please, let us know. We need to know. Man, you know, there's a couple of ways they can do that, right? Okay. You can do it on Twitter www.twitter.com slash the end news or you can email us it's the end news one at yahoo.com or you can send us a video response right here on youtube www.youtube.com slash the end news or you can join our facebook group start a discussion we might have to start a discussion on we facebook might have, might have to do that discussion on facebook group is called i watch the end there you go there you go, there you go. that's it we done james rice i'm out Thank goodness it's Sunday.